What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today, a convenience good. The Sperry Men's Bahama Storm Boot I picked up using Amazon Prime for $100. Today, an unboxing, a try-on, and at the end, a first impressions. Let's get into this unboxing, try-on, and first impressions. All right, guys, so here we have the Men's Bahama Storm Boot. This is by Sperry. Not your traditional shoe when you think of Sperry, but all the exact same attention to detail and features and characteristics you get with a Sperry. So first thing I think you'll notice in the unboxing aspect is of course a couple of shoe horns or boxes inside the shoe to help the shoe keep its form. And that's because the upper half is like a suede leather. It's a fine material. It needs to keep its shape during transport and while it sits on the shelf in a warehouse. This, of course, ensures good quality to the end user, but first and foremost, nice looking shoe, very well put together. It's robust looking, it's sturdy, and for $100, uh, you get quite a bit of functionality here, uh, weatherproofing, and also better grip and traction in inclement conditions. Sperry shoes are meant for water, but the fact that this is $100 puts it in line with other Sperry shoes. It's a nice leather bound material. Let's actually talk about getting it on the foot. So like any typical boot, you have lace hooks. But what's interesting is the inside of the shoe on the collar is what looks like a traditional loop for a shoelace, except getting the lace through the hole nearly impractical, nearly impossible because of the hook on the outside of the collar used to, as you can see, tighten the shoe at the top of the tongue. So just a little bit confusing perhaps that you would maybe try inserting the lace through the lace hole only to find that, like I said, it's nearly impractical or impossible, I should say, getting the lace through the lace hole because of this lace holder on the outside of the collar. So it looks like a Timberland work boot, or at least the laces do. It is still a boot, but it's also carrying the Sperry name, so it's casual in some way. First thing, support, ankle support. Something, like I said earlier, is a sharp departure when we typically think Sperry, right? Topsiders, boat shoes, no ankle support whatsoever. So coupled with the attention to detail and the material of the Sperry, and of course the water resistance and the functional aspect, I think overall of the shoe, it's nice actually having the collar at the ankle be as supportive as it is. So walking around, you'll find that of course a boot is much different from the sneakers and sandals that we've reviewed on the channel prior it's very supportive like i say and that mainly has to do with how you walk in the shoe so having of course a higher collar means not as much movement i think you'll probably compare this to a basketball shoe uh, having support around the ankle to keep your ankle from rolling. Uh, also, the closeness of your foot to the ground, uh, it's a lower rubber tread, all of which uh, aid in terms of support and balance and keeping you from slipping in walking through a, a store after walking through the parking lot if it rained. Uh, a shoe like this is supportive in that it holds the ankle and that is in large part thanks to the high collar and of course with the rubber sole which we know Sperry has great expertise and knowledge in integrating into their shoes is a supportive fit. Very similar I think 
to a skate shoe or maybe a Vans, especially with the diamond-coated textured front of the shoe or sole. And then it cuts off roughly a quarter of the way. Of course, the black or navy blue pinstriping against the brown. Of course, the brown sole, like I said, a classic Vans look. But what you'll notice actually, I think, what differentiates this shoe from a skate shoe. Also, I think the fact that because it looks like a skate shoe, that's also what maybe gives it its uh, demeanor, its rough and rugged demeanor, right? Not meant for a bright or cheery day. Uh, what does, in fact, differentiate, and first and foremost, skating is kind of grunge. I think we uh, all know that, and kind of maybe punk or street punk, right? Uh, but uh, what differentiates this shoe, and looking at the bottom of the shoe is, of course, the tread, which it's much more springy, I think, than a skate shoe, as where a skate shoe is more flat. Uh, more like a sandal, but of course closed-toed and uh, using premium canvas and leather and things like that to uh, just uh, overall provide better support, right? But I think you get the point. Uh, as you can see, the sole actually, like I said, uh, bubbles out at the front of the shoe and then at the back of the shoe is, uh, instead of being completely flat like a skate shoe, of course this I think is in turn uh, designed to step in puddles and uh, like I said, channel water. Now at one point I made just a few moments ago is the punk rock skater anti-authoritarian rule breaking look this shoe gives. Of course that is in large part I think due to the pants khaki on brown and yellow maybe not the best match had i worn these with a pair of blue jeans that definitely i think would have taken the aggressive sort of punk rock grunge rule breaking demeanor out of the shoe with that being said keep that in mind khaki and gray and yellow not the best color combination like i said you'll instead i think want to match with the navy blue pinstriping which of course would mean blue jeans all right guys so now that we've done the try on we've also shown the unboxing and first impressions just a quick overview leather outsole canvas insole rubber bottom of the shoe water resistant in fact on the inside of the tongue is a sticker that says waterproof like i said Carrying the Sperry name, Sperry, the top sider, is a water slip resistant shoe made for the decks of boats, not for use on a boat, but like I said, uh, referring to the tread earlier, suited for rainy inclement conditions, stepping into puddles, walking into stores. Uh, again, the support comes from, of course, this high ankle collar, which actually keeps the ankle from uh, moving left or right or uh, forward too much or backwards too much like i said keeping the ankle in place makes it easier to walk actually upright decreases mobility somewhat but keeps you from rolling your ankle and uh, in turn slipping so slip resistant bottom what also makes this waterproof is of course the canvas and the leather it's dry it's warm and most importantly, because it's leather, it actually conforms to the top of the foot. At a size 11 and a half, fits true to size, had plenty of room, no problems. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the finer details. At the back of the shoe, typical Sperry with this sort of stitched, pinched leather at the back of the heel, the Sperry logo, and different actually compared to maybe a top sider is of course the fact you can pull the ankle collar around the ankle using this pull tab making it easier of course to slip in and out now earlier referring to getting the shoe on and off i mentioned actually untying the laces from this loop here in order to slip inside the shoe definitely a tight squeeze but again 
relating back to support it's needed to keep you from slipping and rolling your ankle and things like that. Looking at the inside of the shoe, you'll notice the canvas, it's almost sort of microfiber-like and actually encompasses the entire interior of the shoe. So the sidewalls from the back of the heel to the front where the toes are, entirely comprised and constructed and covered using the canvas that you can see at the top of the collar, which in turn makes the shoe waterproof. So not able to flood this shoe. Uh, it's protected from both the bottom and the top. The only area on the shoe that could potentially leak water is of course the tongue, but the good news here is because it's a boot, you can tie it down at the ankle. These seams here remain relatively closed. This looks exactly as it does on Amazon's website, even down to where the canvas at the top of the collar is exposed without gray cotton over top or fabric, excuse me. As you can see, a little bit left to be desired, I think, in terms of finish. Uh, a lot of threads and poles, uh, mainly on the Sperry logo, you can see some stitching coming out. And of course, threads sticking out on the back of the heel. Just to keep in mind, not anything that would uh, convince me to not purchase these. Just a simple lighter or a scissor to cut them off would fix that problem. So in terms of styling, what actually makes this shoe attractive is of course the lack thereof a Sperry logo. So no logo or anything embossed on the side of the shoe. Sperry, as well as other preppy brands are good about ensuring the shoe remains somewhat discreet. As you can see, you get a Sperry tab actually coming out from underneath the lace holder here, which is good to see. Of course, at the back of the shoe, on the inside of the shoe, it's plain. And then on the footbed, of course, is the Sperry logo with a sort of festive checkered pattern, which I disagree with. And last but not least, on the tongue is the exact same gray stitch Sperry logo you get on the side of the shoe, but bigger. And last, but most importantly, not least, in terms of support and being able to wear this in the rain and what makes it waterproof is, of course, the thinness of the sole and actually the consistency in depth of tread from the back of the shoe to the front of the shoe. Of course, like I mentioned, a little bit rounded and bulbous perhaps underneath the shoe. This is, again, to help water channel out and to be able to step in puddles. It also elevates the shoe off the ground somewhat, but for the most part, with a consistent tread or depth of tread, ensures that your foot stays flat or on a flat plane and in turn, lets the traction do the work, keeping you from slipping. So, not a typical rain boot, but still incorporates important features that a rain boot does to keep you from slipping and uh, falling. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing, a try-on, and first impressions of the men's Sperry Bahama Storm Boot I picked up using Amazon Prime for $100. Because I picked this up using Amazon Prime, that makes this a convenience good. Of course, what I love about the shoe is its support. The high ankle collar keeps the ankle in place from shifting forward, backwards, and left to right. It does hinder you, actually, from maneuvering a little bit swifter, but in turn, wearing this during a rainy day, and like I said, maybe walking from a parking lot and into a store, this will, of course, help ensure a upright stance and that you don't slip or uh, roll your ankle in any way. Of course, uh, we talked about the tread, which is meant to channel water, not entirely flat like a skate shoe, which we compared this to more in line with a boot. But of course, because this carries the Sperry name, also stylish which my final point I need to make, the Storm Boot 
definitely pay attention not to wear this on a bright or sunny or warm day. It looks just out of place, I think, and carries a negative connotation in that type of environment. And most importantly, I think we saw the importance of good styling. Of course, khaki pants, not the best look. A little bit aggressive, I think a little bit rough and out of place looking. A pair of blue jeans, something to match this top gray would have been more appropriate. Of course, this comes in other colors, so check them out and see which shoe could fit best into your wardrobe. But for now, today you witnessed the unboxing try-on and first impressions. Great quality shoe. A couple of issues, like I said, with fit. Uh, just a couple of little threads sticking out on the Sperry logo, at the back of the shoe, around the collar, things like that. Just a tad unfinished look, looking, but for the most part, a waterproof shoe boot, the Men's Bahama Storm by Sperry for $100. Like I said at the beginning, in line with Sperry's more expensive products, it's leather on the outside, canvas on the inside from the tongue of the shoe, from the back of the shoe, and all the way to the front of the shoe by the toes is what makes it waterproof. It has canvas on the inside. It's a top quality Sperry product like you would get from a gold cup, just definitely more suited for uh, maybe uh, running errands in the rain while also staying stylish. Not like I said for on a boat like your typical Sperry. So my name's John. I really hope you enjoyed that first impressions and unboxing and try on. We covered a lot of different information. You saw for yourself just how comfortable the shoe was. It fit phenomenally well, true to size. 11 and a half is my size. Like I said, better with a pair of blue jeans instead of khaki pants. I hope you enjoyed this first impressions. Check this out. There's an affiliate link in the description. My name is John. Hit that like button, subscribe to see more content like this. Share this video with friends and family and hit the bell icon to get notified when I post to YouTube. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.